We are so glad you're joining us for Table Talk, where we dive a little deeper into Sunday's message. At Northridge, we exist to help people move closer to Christ. We believe that following Jesus is a journey, and we want to help you through that journey any way we can. And now, join two of our pastors for today's Table Talk. Hey guys, welcome to today's Table Talk. I'm Kristen, and joining me today is John Shaw, our group's pastor and also teaching pastor. Um, We're going to jump in today and go a little bit deeper with your message from this past Sunday. Um, Your message was called, Live as Good Citizens, and it came from a passage in Romans 13 that really has a pretty interesting theme, which is... What does it look like for a follower of Jesus to submit to governing authorities? Um, When you started your message on Sunday, you started out and said, hey, this was a tough sermon to prepare for. Can you talk a little bit about your process and how you got to where you got? Yeah, it was like a tough one. Mm -hmm. Like as, as soon as I read it, I'm like, oh, no, like. If anybody knows anything just knows that politics is just so divisive and and, and especially with the advent of social media mm-hmm. it really seems to have divided us even more and, and so I knew there were going to be some people when they heard this that they were going to want me to to say oh yeah this this passage tells us to to do everything that the government says and then there were going to be other people on the other end of the spectrum that were going to say he's going to need to explain this away and and tell me why I can rebel and why all this is okay and and the truth is is somewhere in the in the middle like it's neither the problem is that Paul was writing to a different circumstance and a different people and a different uh government that they were under and so uh, we have all these expectations that isn't directly relatable and so we have different rights and different expectations today than they had and so from that like man i read so many sermons over the past couple hundred years i read uh, a a 22 page dissertation that like broke down every single word and its meaning and why it meant this in this category and why this and uh, i watched sermons and just so much study because i knew i had to get this right like I knew it was important. And for me, it was personally like a struggle um, because I am so politically minded myself. And like, this is a struggle for me, mm-hmm. like to respect government and authorities. Like as an American, I want my way, my rights, like I get to have my say. Um, and there's an important call on my life to live differently. Mm-hmm. And so it, it, it was a good challenge for me. And, and in the end, like I always do, like I saw the beauty of scripture mm-hmm. and why it was so important for us today. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And you you talked um, a little bit about social media and politics. And I would imagine that some of the points that you made um, probably stepped on some people's toes. So do you think you could expound on that? Yeah. Like the advent of social media, like it's been huge. Like there's been study after study after study showing the correlation between um, when social media came into existence kind of in our world and this increase in a political divide in our world. Um, because you, you just look at the algorithms that they have on Facebook and social media. Like they, they tend to like, oh, you liked this thing. Um, you followed that thing. So we're going to show you more of that and more of that. And, and it tends to um, politicize people in a way that they don't even really see because they start to see only this one side of things and they, they don't get kind of this whole picture um, be, because they're trying to make money. And you, you click on an article because it's something you like and it's got to be sensational because they got to get you to read through their article and see their ads and so they can make more money. Mm-hmm. And so all of a sudden we're in this political climate that's just overwhelming. And so, yeah, I was pushing back a little bit on that um, purposefully. I think I think that we need a challenge in the church uh, to be a kinder in our social media and, and to have a view that is uh, a different um, and, and like we, we, we can't help but associate with these ideas, whether we agree or don't agree with them, that, and that's all we can see. But we need to view them personally different. Um, and so that's why for me personally, like I just don't post. I remember uh, the last political post I made, it was a long time ago. But I thought it was pretty generic. I thought it was pretty kind. I was just like, whoever you voted for, I'm going to trust you that who you voted for uh, was who you thought was best for our country. 
And as good as that may sound to you, like I got hate on that. Yeah. Like there were trolls out there like cursing me out. Like you don't know this and you, you hate our country and you're just saying that. And like, that's when I kind of realized that, that, that social media is, is just a hateful place. Mm-hmm. And for me to be a light, I just couldn't get involved in that. Like as a pastor, like it wasn't good for me to be involved in that. If it was going to keep people from Jesus, like if all they were going to see was this side of me, it, it, it simply wasn't worth it. Yeah. Yeah. I totally get that. Well, you know, some people might hear that and they might think, well, if that's the case, maybe I won't get involved in politics at all. Um, but I don't think that's what you're saying. Can you talk no, about that? No, 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 absolutely not. Like, that's what I love about our country. Like, it is a completely different world than what Paul was speaking into. And we have all these amazing rights and, and abilities to vote and be informed and, and to guide and direct the future of our country. And we, we really should. We have to do that. And, and so I think the Christian ought to be involved in the political realm and even, even run for office. Like, that's a good thing to, and when you're a politician, like you have to put your beliefs out there because people are going to vote for you based on your political positions. And so when you bring political positions to the table, people are going to vote for you, whether they agree with that or not. Um, and so that's a good thing. Like I would vote for you and maybe someday, you know, maybe I will get into politics and that'll be the case. Um, but we have to do it in a loving way. Like if you are going to be that politician that's, that's putting these biblical principles out there, like you have to be uh, sharing that in a way that's just loving and kind because that's, that's who we are. Um, and that's, that's a hard thing. Right. Sharing things and discussing things in a way that honor Christ right. and don't, you know, put people um, in a place where they think that you're coming from a, a sense of negativity yeah. or hate because um, that really divides. Right. And, and for the the politician that, that is out there, like I'm a believer and I'm a politician, like they have to be extra aware, like the scrutiny is on them. Mm-hmm. And so they have to live a way that is just above reproach. Mm-hmm. They have to be just completely and utterly different. Right. Right. I hear that. Um, so you, you gave, um, some really great, uh, historical references in your message. And I wondered if what other type of examples you read up on or, or were studying where God used and ordained foreign or pagan leaders, um, to really deliver what he was trying to accomplish. Yeah, there would have been for like the Jew, especially like hearing what Paul is saying here, there would have been a tradition in their history, in their culture of of really understanding God using outside forces Mm -hmm. uh, for his good. Um, Like you would have had the Egyptians initially and then the Assyrians and the Babylonians and then the Persians and eventually even the Romans. Um, And and so we see like uh, Isaiah wrote of the Assyrians. Uh, Woe to the Assyrians, the rod of my anger, saying that he's using them as his rod to punish. Um, In whose hand is the club of my wrath? I send him against the godless nation. I dispatch him against the people who anger me to seize and loot and snatch and plunder. And and then Jeremiah says of Nebuchadnezzar, the Babylonians, uh, Behold, I will send all the tribes of the north, declares the Lord. And for Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, like calls him my servant there, I will bring them against the lands and its inhabitants. And then as Cyrus, uh, he's the king of the Persians that later conquers Babylon, he says, uh, who says of Cyrus, he is my shepherd and shall fulfill all my purposes. Isaiah is talking about God. God is the one speaking this. And so there would have been this understanding for the Jew that, that God uses authorities, even those of pagan nations, even those that seem so evil and awful, uh, to, to punish and, and to guide and direct the course of history in, in the way that God wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. That's really good, John. Um, I really appreciate the way that you delivered this message. Um, I know that there were parts of it that were kind of tough, but I really love that we can have a conversation in church about what it looks like to live as a Christ follower that's really trying to seek unity um, and not divide. And I think that the best way for us to hear that is straight from the Word of God um, and straight from um, those that are that are following and teaching. Um, so really, I appreciate the way that you you shared that with us. And I think it was probably helpful for a lot of people. I hope so. It was yeah. helpful for me. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, that's all the time we have today for Table Talk. We will see you next time. Thanks for joining us for Table Talk. 
You can keep up with what's happening at Northridge on your mobile device through our Northridge Christian app. If you want to continue to dive deeper with us in this content, please like, subscribe, and share this show.